actually that's not probably not true. There was a, probably a bunch of Darren that said he went to the early game, but this is the last time I remember him seeing him. And it was a good, really good, unsurprisingly. Yeah, he's a chic boat. Yeah, he's a chic player. All right, going into game one. The C10 Len versus Vincent, 87523. Uh, yeah, big D's here. Uh, Rob versus Dark Pit. I, uh, literally never see Dark Pit, so I cannot commentate on the matchup, but I'm guessing he can nair a lot. Yeah. Wow. Three lasers in a row, pretty much. Big body of Rob getting kind of demolished by it. First time he's landed in a very long time. One kept him off stage for a good, like, or kept him disadvantaged for like a good 30 or 40 seconds. But now he's actually kind of hurt. Uh, pretty quick back up. That's gonna get punished. That's gonna happen. By the nair. Ooh, gets it by another nair. It almost dies on the top of the mountain. Back row. Ooh, that's a snipe off stage. Yeah. Super strong arrow. Not, uh, you know. Uh, not hit arrows. Uh, Dark Pit's, I, th I think the way it's like, you can spam Dark Pit's arrow a lot better by one likes it more. I think, if I remember him saying it a couple months ago, at this point in time probably, it's like, kind of like Falco Lasers. And he's kind of just taking this lead, beating, beating Vincent for like once, and then just hard giving him this advantage. Like, that was like, I think 50% off of one control, and then he just kept guessing how he wanted to land. Okay, ooh, tries to read some sort of approach with the smash, doesn't get it. Now smash is gonna take it? Yeah. So, Rob at almost 100% now. Now throw, forward air still. Okay, it's still combos at 6%. I mean, it won't kill, but I, I just don't see our pit enough for me to actually complicate on it. Combo trees and stuff. Wow, what is doing really well at just tilting Vincent with uh, arrows. Yeah. It seems like one of those hard things as uh, Rob because he's just keeping you in disadvantage. Yeah, he's just continuously pelting you and keeping you in disadvantage and making you like, unable to like, come down. And then he's. Uh, Len, oh, is he dead? Okay, not yet. He tries to go for another one, though. But I think he's gonna... Okay. Opts to go for a ledge trapping scenario instead of edge guarding. But Len's throw is insane. That was, like, the only one of his strongest points. And it's, like, really hard. I, I think it's gonna be really hard for uh, this get through that, especially with taking like 40 to 50% each time he tries to go for a, a somewhat bad aggressive uh, attack, and then he gets punished for it, and then just gets kept in disadvantage. Like all of these like nares and stuff, do, like maybe, maybe 10% max? But he's just chaining them together because Vincent has to land, but it's very difficult to land as one Rob and also against him. It's the Buckner. Buckner and then arrows. Yeah. One definitely keeps it to a pretty strict game plan. Tries to go for a get up roll and but then one covers it. Ooh, that's a 
100. Yeah. Uh, the third one was a bit, was pushing it a bit too much. Looks like I'm the last man standing. Taking game one, and now on to game two. Three, two on town one, city. Okay. Go! Um, what's the problem? Like, we don't see enough of Dark Pit. Pit. So, uh, I can't say for certain what's the best stage that Dark Pit has. Oh, oh, we're going for that one? Okay. That's good, though. And it's really hard to just. You know, we don't really, you don't really fight that many. So, for all I know, this could be like Town City. Uh, this could be Dark Pit's best stage because of stuff like that where he almost killed him at zero, getting the one grab off the ledge, I think. Okay, no smash. But also, this is, this is a pretty good stage for Rob. Ooh! Wow! I think the gyro followed into. Did I kill? Okay. Now he's laughing in a sense again. Good landing. Hello. Getting Samuel on. Hey guys, it's me, Samuel. On. He is the electronic Samuel. That's me. I am electronic Samuel, also known as Sam, also known as Samuel. I thought he was going to Please follow me. Impressive. Yeah. Okay, side mutation. Alright, now it's equal stocks, 2 to 2, but also at 100% on this. Yeah, but the thing is, Len is just crazy good at adapting, right? He's Len. He's Len. Leonard Zane. He will just beat you in neutral once and keep you in disadvantage. Alright, I heard your game called. I think I heard you called. Well, the set's almost over anyways, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't put money on Len winning this game. Really? I don't know about that. Going into winning the set. Who knows, you know? Yeah, this is Smash Ultimate. Anything can happen. What if he gets, what if he goes for a bad edge guard and gets side B twice? Like, for the next two socks, like at zero. Yeah, what if he dies? Yeah, what if he uh, just, like, like SDs? Yeah. No, like, I mean in real life. Oh, yeah, then he loses. Because he, he can't play for dead. I, I was always thinking, like, what if somebody had a stroke mid set? Do they just oh, get he's dead. Yeah. That was funny. That was a good nair. But I'm serious. If somebody has a stroke mid set, do they just get DQ? What? I do yes. so. <laughs> Nice try. Either way, good job to Len. I was on commentary for, like, two. Ten, ten seconds. Yeah. And, uh, I'm hopping off. Good commentating with you, buddy. Solid commentary. Good luck in your next match. I have to play cap caption L. Ah, oh, hey, now you have to play.